Today, guys, I'm going to be doing a discussion video talking about the next evolution that is coming in Clash Royale next month, and it might end up being two evolutions, which is what we just recently saw with the Evolve Wallbreakers and the Evolve Bomber coming into the game. And then after that, we'll get into Reddit because there's some interesting stuff there as well. So Clash Royale made a tweet saying Electrolution, where they tweeted out basically giving a hint of what the next evolution is going to be. Now, there's a lot of electric cards in the game, but recently, the last day, I've seen a lot of tweets hinting or even some leaks kind of somewhat revealing what the next evolution is and there might be two of them but you can see it's just a goblin getting stunned by some electric bolts let's see what people are saying in the replies so this guy here is saying either tesla or ewiz this guy's well is saying pekka buff and ewiz evolution so a lot of people are assuming it's the electro wizard more people are saying tesla and this guy here is saying zap evolution for indirect buff basically indicating that zap isn't that good so that's why it should get an evolution now there are are two more tweets I want to show you guys that could help reveal what it is. So if you look here at the end of last year, they revealed their roadmap for 2024. And in the card evolutions thing, you can see here, we already got the Evolve Bomber and the Evolve Wallbreakers as well as the Evolve Valkyrie. And as you can see here in this picture, this is the Tesla and this appears to be the Electro Wizard. Now this also could be the Wizard because now look at this tweet I'm about to show you that shows it might actually be another evolution besides these two here. So in the roadmap, it showed what appeared to be the Tesla and the Electro Wizard, but CR Leaks, who is known for leaking things, tweeted out Evolve Zap confirmed, and this appears to be the bottle that the Zap is in, and I don't know what is down here, but this was tweeted out just a couple hours ago, so it seems now that the Zap might actually be what one of the evolutions is, assuming there's going to be two. Now, personally, I would really like to see a Zap evolution because we haven't gotten a spell yet, so that could be quite interesting, especially because Zap is currently one of the worst spells in the game too. And this guy too, who is known for sharing information, said that it's going to be Tesla and the Zap. So Tesla, I'm almost certain it will be because that was leaked before and it's on the roadmap, but now more people are saying Zap. So if I had to make a prediction, I would assume it's going to be two evolutions again, likely the Tesla and the Zap, but we will see what happens. All right, let's look at some of the top posts of the week on Reddit now. So this guy said, wow, finally some W's. Wait, what is this? Is this something that has to do with the next update or something? So this is like sort of a map here. And then on each spot, there's like rewards. Whoa, this looks pretty cool, but I don't know how this is actually going to work or what this even is. But this is like a skin. There's a chest, gold, cannoneer, giant chest shard chess where did this screenshot even come from i don't even know maybe this has to do with the anniversary of clash royale because you see how there's an eight there marking the eight years of clash royale i assume that's what this is this guy here captioned this post and said free progression so every time your king tower levels up you get princess tower cards to upgrade it to the same level as the king tower so i assume this is talking about the level up chess where you're getting the tower princesses you need to upgrade to her to the next level and it says and how Tower troop cards are capped to your current King Tower level in battle. This means that although you can upgrade your Tower troops past your King Tower level in battle, your Tower King's level will not exceed your King Tower level. So he's then saying, what's the point of this? These level up chests with the Tower troops in them? Yeah, the one thing I really don't like about these is the fact that people are having such a hard time getting the newer Tower troops. Like, they're never getting the Cannoneer. And they keep getting the Tower Princess, even though they literally have her max. So it's like, what's the point? So I can see why people complain about that. I think they're doing that intentionally because they want to make the Cannoneer as pay to win as possible, forcing you to maybe buy it from the shop. So you're not getting them that often from chess. That's probably what it is. I don't know for sure, though. They really do have zero shame. What is he talking about? Oh, bomber revolution now with extra bombs. Unlock it with the diamond pass before the season ends. I mean, this is debatable whether it's bad or not, because it makes sense they're trying to advertise it and get money, but it's the type of thing where it's like, is it really necessary? They just throw it right in your face when you open the game. I mean, it is a little funny, I'll admit. <laughs> Muhammad Light got hacked. I don't know if you guys know who Muhammad Light is, but he's basically the best player in Clash Royale. Well, it's a little controversial because some people think it's Moogie, but Mo is considered one of the goats regardless. And yeah, I saw this actually. His channel got hacked by some guy and they're posting like Fortnite and Apex stuff on it. That's 
pretty wild. Hopefully he gets that sorted out because that, uh, that really sucks. Fire who designed these garbage ass game modes. So what is this one? The love sparks. Oh, I saw this. I don't think I played it though. Sparky's here and she's ready to kickstart your heart. Okay. That's a little cringy. I guess they have to make these cringy lines though for the month of the same month Valentine's days in. Supercell is so creatively bankrupt trying to design a new game mode that isn't take the center troops, spawn troops in the back, or mirror battle. They have the occasional draft evolution so we can test new evolutions and that's it. I mean, he does have a good point. I feel like they could make better game modes. This is partly why I don't even make videos on these because I feel like a lot of my audience anyways finds it kind of boring, but maybe that's just me. I don't know. What do you guys think about the game modes? I do think recently they haven't been really anything that special. How many decades I should spend to max my cannoneer? He's talking about the lack of cannoneers he's been getting. So this is kind of what I was talking about with that other Reddit post I showed a couple posts ago where he opened... So nine out of the 10 chests he opened are the tower princesses. So people are literally like never getting the cannoneers out of their chests. So it's like impossible to max without spending money. Okay, this is kind of a funny one. Kicked from my clan for using Eagleum. I just got kicked from my clan for going against the leader with my Eagleum deck, which I main. It resulted in me beating him three times. For context, I've been a member of this clan for one and a half years. That's a long time. My name is Peter, by the way. <laughs> Important detail there. First, the leader started saying my deck was cheap and that Eagleum is for boosted players. I then say that this is my main deck for ladder and he says nothing. Dang. Then I enter into the third game and take his left side tower with healer, eagle, and electro drag on the first push. He starts spamming chicken emote and lets me win. After the game, he says, I don't deserve the right to play this game or leech off his clan anymore. He said, you will never request eagle in my clan ever again. 30 seconds after I was booted, I'm shocked at how he reacted being that I interacted with this guy many times before. Oh my goodness. The you will never request Eagleum in my clan ever again had me laughing to myself whenever I think about it. Then this is so fucking funny. Hi, Peter. I lost it at this part as if his name being Peter adds such important depth to the story. Bro, I don't know if he expected to get like sympathy from people or people feeling bad for him in the comments, but everyone's just roasting this guy. I feel kind of bad, but it is kind of a funny story. You people may not agree with me on this. Well, he's probably right by that because for whatever reason, Wizard is one of the most controversial cards in the game. It always has been for a while, probably because of mid-ladder players, so many people hate it. But the reality is, in my opinion, I think it sucks right now and I'd like to see it get a buff. This guy's idea, hit points plus 21% and then the hit speed minus 0.2, area damage minus 10%. Honestly, I'm for this. I think one of the biggest problems with the wizard is the fact that he dies to poison, which is such a prevalent spell for elixir spell that kills a five elixir card. The wizard just needs to survive poison. And honestly, if it survived like fireball zap or even fireball log, that would be pretty nice too. I guess we'll end off of this. Let me know what you guys think about this wizard buff. Make sure to like and subscribe if you enjoyed.